Greetings fellow smiths and craftsmen, Rodamon here. Thank you for tuning in to RimWorld Death of the Isle. Episode 6, Workshop of War. Now there isn't like a penalty for Overhead Mountain unless it collapses on us. So I can dig into the Overhead Mountain at some point. But for now, I'm just going to shave off the non-Overhead Mountain parts. Until we need more... Uh, granite elsewhere, but there's so much granite around. It's also expanding the total footprint of the base as well. So, with the presser... Yep, it wasn't impressing. I didn't think it was. Um, I think it requires like a, a normal kitchen... Um, a normal kitchen which we don't have which is the problem I wonder if I can do it on like a furnace or something because the cooking table didn't work I, I could also just modify the mod uh, to allow for the slight cooking table that's easy enough to do for next stream just have to put that in my notes. Notes. And I'm sure there's going to be a lot of stuff like that. Just overlooked due to lack of playtesting. All right, got it written down. Mod the mod. I do a lot of that. I'm pretty used to it. So the field smithy requires steel ingots. Oh, yeah, yeah we're not going to have that anytime soon. Um, there is a different... So we'll probably want a smelter at some point. And then we can also get an anvil. I'll probably move around where the anvil is specifically. And then we'll also want a furnace. So that's uh, more stone cutting to be done. We'll get the floor up as well. Let's focus on maybe the production facilities rather than the floor. No one lives in here anymore, so don't bother with the coolers. This raw resources... I'm not even going to bother repainting it. Let's just move it. I don't have a stockpile yet, but we'll just put it right outside the, the workshop. Oh boy, Lembus corn. Yeah, we're not gonna have problems with food, I don't think. Not for a bit. Um, I do now have tea, and let's set up a new policy. Recreational drugs. So for now, we all we have is tea. I'll carry one on me, I'll say every two days, and only if mood is below, let's say 50. And then as we add more drugs to our, um, to what we have, we can expand that. It's unfortunate that the Pomana fruit is just going to spoil and rather than be processed into cerium. Oh, well. Yeah, I don't think that there's anything in the uh, medieval tree that represents like just a normal kitchen. Which means none of these are going to be able to, to press it. Yeah. Oh, well. Ooh, Thomas, you leveled up. Keep investing in those sprites. I'll just have one sprite going at a time. I don't need to push it. 
in case I need to use the abilities for uh, for defense. So there's the furnace. Um, awesome. So destroy a peril forever of tainted peril. We don't, we don't need it. Any tainted peril we can just get rid of. Slave rebellion. Oh, someone wants to get beaten up. Hmm. Actually, let, let's let them leave and like encase them in stone. I'm really curious what happens. How do yeah? Uh, you know what? I'm trying to think of a way to not fatally. Oh, you burning stuff? Yeah, that's gonna be a problem. Minions do very low damage, so I can just have the. Oh God, don't shoot them. I can just have minions suppress them. When I said low damage, apparently the goblin's a little squishy. So he's kind of lacking a leg now. But, I don't know, the suppression worked. Maybe not exactly how we wanted, but technically suppressed. Hey, you get to bleed in your bedroom. Are you bleeding to death? You are. In fact, you, I'm going to have to stand right outside because you are so bleeding to death. Uh, what is it? Your right leg? All right. You, I think, have learned some important lessons. And if you haven't, I'm happy to teach you again. But you're making um, shield here wake up, which is honestly just rude. I can also preach health uh, to recover faster, but I'm putting in a peg leg. I like how the minion just, what did it, bite your leg off? Uh, yes, it bit your leg off. <laughs> well, enjoy your peg leg. And I'm not, your bedroom is not, I only illuminated for the, the, uh, the doctoring. I'm going to remove the torch because I, I don't care to keep it illuminated permanently. God, that's hilarious. It's bit its leg off. Yeah, don't, don't piss off the summoner. That is the TLDR. All right, let's preach health. Do I have to? Oh, you can't even stand up, so I can't wake you up. Ironically. Free from doing hard labor as a result. Is there an equivalent of Heal Serum? Um, yeah, there are some magical ways to heal, but likely that leg ain't going to get fixed. I'll put it that way. There we go. So, a little preach health, get you to recover, because your other leg is pretty gnarly as well. And the minion that bit you is already healed. And Shield is throwing a, haha, you lost a leg party which is hilarious. A peg leg is a really good reminder not to piss off your betters. So some of that is this slave is allowed near weapons, which is a bit of a problem. Being allowed near weapons encourages them to uh, rebel. Uh, so at some point it would make sense to have like a garrison or like a room dedicated to store arms and armor. Obviously we don't even have general storage so that's a little bit above uh, our projected construction facilities but uh, yeah, at some point. And now we have a smelter. So a smelter um, can process raw ore into ingots, raw silver into coin and raw gold into ingots and, and produce um, coal chunks from timber. So it's good. And we got way bread to the elves. Um, that is absolutely what I'm going to want to cook. I just don't know if I can cook it on, again, this facility. I think that's going to require mods. 
uh, me to be modding. Uh, I should be, I should say, because I don't believe that even if I got um, baking, it's going to work. Because it's, there's some mod problems. I can always try. What was I currently, what was I researching? I don't even remember. Yeah, there is the regrow spell, but that's a druid spell, and we don't allow druids. So that's not something that we're going to be able to do. Back to granite to finish off the workshop. We can also do a quenching bucket to speed up some of the work facilities. A, oops, a grinding wheel. Uh, bellows. Maybe we'll move the bucket. I kind of want a bone bucket. A tool rack. And that should make this workshop look more workshoppy. Could it be hiding under complex furniture? Um... Butcher table is. I don't see it though. I see tool cabinets, but I don't. I don't see it now. Art, dining. Rustic furniture is cooking tools. No, I think it's going to require me to modify the mod. To be honest, fuel stove was there. Oh, in complex furniture? Maybe fuel stove would work. Yeah, let's uh let's try it. That's actually probably the solution, I'd imagine. Meaning that I won't have to do any modding myself. That would be ideal. Thanks for noticing that. That's a very bad place for hyena. Also, yeah, I must have forgotten. I meant to do allow rotten, and we've been putting fresh stuff there, which is not smart. Oh, Gondor. For now, I'm just going to, because it's cheaper, schedule everyone to home. And then my animal, oh, I don't have any minions. Schedule everyone to home so they don't go out to get slapped by defenders. So there's three to the south, one to the north. Uh, let's go clap the north dude quick so they don't all attack at once. Why does Gondor hate me? Uh, for, for real? <laughs> Ow. You destroyed my lung. All right, well, I'm gonna have to remove a lung, clearly. I didn't notice that they, I they saw the shield and assumed they had melee, but they weren't. They're a Gondorian knight with a giant's blood. Legit. All right, well, one of you Humies going to give me a lung. All three of them are not um, contenders for members anyway. Well, what, they all had blades too. Stand still. I can't kill you if you're running away from me. Oh, good. One of the alpacas coming to be hunted anyway. And then, now that I'm looking at it, uh, let's work drive shield.
And I'm casting a Greater Sentinel so that uh, the attackers that are coming are going to have a bit of a treat. This alpaca was one that was already hunting, so like it's going to die. And they're coming in. Oh, a telescope. Three men of Gondor guarding it. Where is this? Oh, it's here. Wait, no, what? Quests. Clear the camp. I don't see the camp. Is it, this is the camp? That seems like not a camp to me. I think it's supposed to be here because that got revealed, but it's just like unsure. I, I don't know. Oh, the Sentinel's literally blocking my view. So the Sentinel just got activated because they got close enough. Oh, uh, well, I'm not getting a lung. I am getting a shield, though. <laughs> they got absolutely massacred. Uh, can I use the shield on the current weapon? Yes. Well, we're eating tonight. I guess. There I was, like, queuing up for a fight. And Crimson was so pissed about his uh, lung that he just went ham. Trigger Happy Goblin is very deadly. Even, even Sans one lung. So Tal, uh, oh, Thomas hopped up. Okay, I see, I see. So it might be wise, given that I have potentially two researchers, to get two benches for it. Oops. Chairs would be nice too, I suspect. I'll do evil style wooden stools. I don't think tar. No, it does have degradation numbers. Never mind. Silver I could technically put outside, but I don't think I will. Feels wrong. Uh, another thing that I ought to do is to have a stockpile near the Slate Furnace for Tainted Apparel. For now, I'll just put it on a shelf or something. So this will be... See all apparel that is tainted and smeltable, and then the destroy apparel ingredient radius will be tiny. So essentially, if it's tainted apparel, it goes on this shelf and then it gets smelted back into its uh, base ore.
Could we harvest a lung at a Soladin for Crimson? I suppose it's possible. I'll leave it to poll. Because if we do have another prisoner or another lung donor, Soladin could always get a lung back. Um, so it would just be borrowing a lung. So leave that up to you. Um, that's a really bad place for a Lembiscorn. Why are we putting it up there? Uh, is, true, is this full? Oh, because uh, I put Lembus there. That's my fault. There we go. Getting fixed. Travelers desire resources. Oh, you know, uh, we are maybe, depending on who, what they believe in. Um, yeah, no, never mind. I, I don't need this poll. I think a lung just got delivered. One is magically gifted. So that is a recruit possibility. Your name is Mother? That's just creepy. Well, Mother, you're going to lose a lung, I think. Uh, so Aurora, if we could capture him, could be uh, become a member because they're magically gifted, which is a uh, skill, skill of note. They can become a mage. In fact, hypothetically, they could become a lich, a necromancer. Uh, but yeah, one of these guys definitely going to lose some vital organs, I think. If we can capture them without, you know, killing them. There is, therein lies the challenge. So, let's see here. Jesus, little uh, target practice, shall we? Ow. Well, not that necromancer. Old fire, let the, uh... Come back, mother. Let the sentinel punch you. I wonder how that will turn out. As expected. Not gifted enough. Because, yes, of, of course. Well, Silden, uh, so nice of you to be a <laughs> lung donor. Are there traps to capture alive? No, not really. I mean, there's spells that we'll eventually get, like, access to, but that's not something we have now. Like, hypothermic spells or, you know, whatever. There, there are ways to do it in the future. I don't necessarily want to get rid of this cooking table. I'm just going to displace it for now. And then... Um, and then see if the other one like has more options. Oh, except for we don't have fuel. Uh, we don't have steel. So never mind, it's moot. We need steel first. Silibin. You, my friend, with already the busted up torso are going to have one fewer lungs than you remember having recently. These are smeltable? Wait, for real? Somehow I don't believe you. Did I do this right? Allow... Smeltable? Oh, forget burnable. Oh! No, it's smeltable. We just destroyed it. Was this destroy or smelt? Maybe that's my... F yeah, that's destroy, because I'm, I'm stupid. Smelt apparel. Forever. That is tainted. I do also want to destroy uh, tainted stuff. 
destroy apparel forever that is tainted, that isn't smeltable. So if it can be smelted, we smelt it. If not, we destroy it because I don't need buckets and buckets and buckets of tainted apparel everywhere. Um, no, 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 no. You're not a good doctor. Stop that. Glad I caught you. Don't ruin the lung that you want. Jesus. There's the, your lung. Okay, and then, um... I know this is technically your bed, but here. This is now your new bed? Actually, this is a better, I think, a better bed anyway. 108, rest, and then this is uh, 91. So yeah, uh, this is obviously the new bed. For colonists, and install left lung. A gold mining site. Another one. Man, they just love mining gold. There you go. Lung is fine. As if it never happened. There we go. So we should be getting metals off of this. Possibly even the steel that we need. Oh yeah, I think. I think it's gonna happen. I was like, we don't have any steel. I don't know how to make steel. Because steel is like pretty late game in um in this mod pack. But uh I think what we could do is we could actually just take off some of the steel armor that we have and strip the corpses and just like make our own steel. We'll see if we need to. Seem to be getting steel the uh the fun way. So what am I missing for this? Iron ingots? Uh, well, I can get iron ingots. This is raw iron, which will be put through the smelter. And I think for now, these splinted boots are just going to go in. So we are smelting. So anytime I have like stuff that I want to just smelt, but not necessarily forever, I'll queue it up like this. Because we just want the steel for the, the Lembus, all that. I also need more slate for the grinding wheel. So hopefully that's enough steel. I guess Crimson was the one that killed like most of the people that attacked us. He was clearly very angry about losing that lung, and he's gonna wake up with a new lung, so... It's a problem that solved itself. Manhunter hack of Mumakil. Oh. Um, this is a very much a close your frickin' doors type of situation. <laughs> uh, Cause yeah. Uh, I, needless to say, those things are kind of big. So, quickly painting a new zone so that nobody goes anywhere near the doors. And the obvious benefits of spending all that time and energy to build beautiful walls should now be quite apparent. Because we got some war elephants uh, bearing down on us. Can't wait to eat them. It's too bad I can't train them. Not this time, at least. Maybe if one gets wounded, we could consider rescuing it. I don't think... 
No, Crimson's animal handling skills is up to snuff. That still might be an option. I don't know what they eat, though. Because feeding a bunch of Mumikill, I could imagine, are uh, difficult. Alright, Shield. You are closest to the southern gate. And Crimson to the eastern gate, even though you're a little uh, unwell. You're on a food binge? Uh, I'll allow it. Oh no, they're just rotting. <gasps> One, maybe not. Um, hmm. So question for you guys. Rescue or kill? I'll check what their diet is in a second. But wow, they died really fast, so I don't think they're really good uh, animals of war. Uh, contrary to their name and size and prowess. Although that Rivendell, though, that thing hits like, uh, like a machine gun, so. Uh, let's see. Trainability is advanced, so that means like hauling and the like. Um, move speed is obviously affected by injuries. Um, they eat live plants, meals, kibble, processed food, liquor, vegetables. They're diurnal. And they do okay-ish DPS. Uh, I think some of this is as a result of the manipulation effect is uh, injury. One minute to vote on that. But you don't got a lot of time because that thing is bleeding out fast. Very fast. But if we do an animal rescue, you guys can decide. I will be standing for your judgment. Hey, Servants of the Dark Lord, Keller, and Amu. And I also need a research project. Um, and do arcane crafting. I'm just going to decide for myself. I think rescue wins by like a tiny bit. Don't use meds though. What is their um their tame anger? Oh, it's pretty low. Okay. That was the other thing is like, I'm gonna have to tame this thing potentially, and I don't want it to just like up and murder me in the event that uh that I piss it off, a tame attempting. Because that's that's the threat of like animals like d dire wolves or dire boars. So they, uh... Oh, but you are Skurir Rotten. Uh... And I don't have the medicine to cure that. So never mind. Sorry, I did overlook the whole Skurir possibility. So we, uh... Because without mods, I don't think it's even possible to, to cure one of those. Yeah, you're just you're just a big rotten sack of oleophant meat. My bad. Didn't think about the Scaria problem. Clearly, not meant to be. We really don't have much. Well, we have a lot of magicite. Got to start using that. Magicite is good stuff. So we have uh, the smelter processing. Processing our iron. And that's another thing is we're going to want um, barrels of coal. And barrels of iron ore. And then maybe shelves of ingots. So we'll do steel and iron ingots here. And then the iron ore and coal ore is required by the barrel. 
Cheers. So that will make the smelting much faster. Now we're starting to get stacks of iron, which will allow for tool racks and stuff like that. Uh, we also are going to want barrel of components and maybe one of wood. I'll also do the um, silver ore and gold ore if we have any of that stuff. I don't know if I'm going to be processing it. That is a larger question. But having a smelter going with all the iron is going to be quite nice when it comes to base building and weapons of war and armor and the like. Are you still picking out? Jesus, you've eaten everything we own. Also, really curious as if this works. I'll know in just a moment. Yeah, extract cerium. Okay. Sorry, old table. You're going bye-bye for the new one. So on this, find meals until we uh, say we have 10, 10 ink liquors until we have 100, and then we want to grind bulk lembus. Actually, I want to grind bulk lembus uh, until we have, let's say, 100 of that, and then bake elven bread. I think I want elven bread over even uh, fine meals, as it has more benefit. And then once we're done all that, extract cerium forever, and then make mana potions maybe forever. Tal's going to be stuck in that kitchen. So um, if we don't want him stuck in that kitchen, I can actually have Sildan start to inherit some of the cooking tasks that are fitting for his level. So that's a thing to consider as well. This workshop's looking pretty, pretty decent. And Sildan finally stopped picking out. Um, all right, the other thing we might want on a shelf in here is, so one for apparel, all apparel that is clean, and above 50%. And that's gonna be just the stuff we wear. And we also don't want that to be smeltable. And then we're, all, uh, we're also gonna want like a, just a, uh, like a shelf of the clothing that we wanna burn. At some point I might wanna reorganize this to be better once we have the dedicated storages. So this is going to be non-smeltable, but burnable, tainted apparel. Which we're going to want to destroy. Because we're, every time we kill people, we get their garbage and we want to get rid of it. And you know what would help us organize? Minions. So all these minions will bring things to where they need to be, allowing us to remain nice and organized. So I would say the good ending point would be if we get the final tool rack. That's sort of the workshop is done. Feel pretty good about this workshop, but um, we're we are running on like coal uh, wood power, which is not as efficient as coal. So that's another thing to transition off of to find a coal vein or seam and to start exploiting it for um, for fuel to change our fuel source. And the tall over here is making 
elven or elvish bread. And here is the benefit. Consciousness and moving goes up and pain goes down. So people that are on elvish bread uh, get a really nice buff. Probably not all that balanced, but I don't care. Nothing about this mod pack is balanced. And the processing of dead people's gear is really nice. Oh, actually, Sildan, here, you want some clothing? I totally forgot about you. My organ harvested. Oh, boo-hoo. Should have th thought about that before you rebelled like an idiot. But yeah, the, the forges have, are really, they're, they have started. Which is awesome. Soon, we will have grand weapons of war. What I'm most excited about, perhaps, is to get an arcane forge. That will really change the power level of our necromancer wannabes. Being able to throw away some, throw around some weight in the world. But that, my friends, I think, is all the time I have for this stream. Thank you for tuning in to RimWorld Death of the Isle, which originally streamed live on Twitch January 14th. If you have any feedback or questions for me, let me know in the comments below. If you would like to catch a live stream of mine, Rodamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams. If you would like to join my online gaming community on Discord, Rodamont.com has a link to it, as does the description of this video. Thank you so very much for watching. And a special thank you to my Patreon patrons, Twitch subscribers, and viewers like you that support the channel and made it all the way to the credits. Thank you so very much. Hope to catch a next episode or an upcoming stream. Farewell, my fellow Tolfallen.